Hi everyone, my name is Nikos Bafidis from the Junior and Senior School in Nicosia, Cyprus, sunny Cyprus. And this is going to be a first of a series of tutorials mainly aimed for students taking uh, the ICT IGCSE exam, the Cambridge exams 0417, and also aimed for educators as well. This first tutorial is all about databases and specifically how we import a CSV file into access to create a new table. I'm going to be working from a past paper describing all the different little tips and tricks and I'm going to be importing three different CSV files into three tables. My interface of access may differ a little bit to yours depending on your version and the version that I'm using but in general the concept and the understanding is what's important. The only things that you will find different will be where you would actually find the import part where to go actually and import a text file and I'm sure you'll be able to figure that out on your version. Everything else should be exactly the same. More tutorials uh, like creating queries and creating reports and labels will follow soon. If you are taking the exam, good luck. This paper in particular has got some twists in it and makes it a little bit more complicated in the effect that you have to really look carefully at all the settings. So I thought it would be a really good idea to go over the importing of uh, these CSV files. In, in fact, there's actually three tables that you need to import. This one here, boards, and then the M2017 trees, and then locations. So I'm going to start with this one. First of all, I'm going to start by just having a quick look at the table with the field names and the data types. So I can identify things only from the question paper before I begin. So I've got my field names here. They look okay. There are no spaces, and where there is a space, they're using an underscore, so that's good. Um, the data type here, very basic data types, only here for numeric. It doesn't actually say whether it should be decimal values or integers. That's very important. We'll hold on to that, and we'll see. We'll look into this a little bit later on. Another interesting point is this one here, where you've got Boolean and logical fields, this ready one here, and it says it could be a yes, no, or a checkbox field. Now, I haven't seen this before, so it's your choice what you want to use. My preference is a yes, no field because that's what I'm used to. And the same goes here. And also another interesting one is this one here, currency of your choice. So they're really leaving it down to you um, to decide what you want to use. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my folder where I have all my files inside here. I'm going to right click new. Actually, that's in the that's off the screen, so I'm going to go there. Uh, okay, so let's try up here. That new access. There we go. So that's in the screen. That's made me new access database, and I'm just going to call this M2017. This is a March 2017 paper enter and enter to open my database. And that starts off with my basic uh, database here, enable content. And I'm now going to import my first table. So this one I want to import from M2017 boards CSV. So let's begin. I'm going to go to external data. Now your interface might look a bit different. You might have the text file here. All comes down to the version you've got from file, text file, and I want to create a new table. I'm not appending to a table, I'm creating a new table. I'm going to go to Browse, and I'm going to go to the location where all my files are, right here, and there's the one that I want, M2017 boards. Okay, so here it is here. I'm going to click on that and click on Open. Added the file, so I'm importing to a new table. Click OK. First thing I want to do is just make sure that I'm not getting any uh, windings or funny characters here. It's all normal characters. That's good. The limited characters, such as comma, and that's that's the one I want because it's CSV comma separated values. Next, again here, I'm making sure that the comma is the the character which is separating the fields. And first row contains field names. There they are. Because I'm adding to a new table, so it has to give you the field names as well. Remember, if you're appending to a table, then it won't have the field names. It will just have the data because you're adding the data 
to an existing table. So in this case, it's a new table next. And here I'm going to go have a look at my fields. Okay, so advanced. So the first thing I want to do is have a look at the question paper and look at each one one by one very carefully. Board ID, it's text, and it says it's a unique identification. It's a unique identity for each board. That means it's a primary key, and it's down here as well if you have a look. The board ID field is a primary key field. And primary key means that you're not allowed to duplicate or not allowed to have the same value twice. If we look here very carefully, board ID says short text, that's good. It says index, which means it's a primary key, but it says duplicates okay. That's not okay. So I want to put index, yes, no duplicates, okay? Otherwise it will allow me to have doubles. Let's go to the next one. Tree ID is text. This code identifies the type of tree. It's not a unique identifier. So if it's not, then I can allow the duplicates. That's okay. Okay, so duplicates okay. That's okay there. Let's have a look at the next one. Numeric, numeric, numeric. Now, what does numeric mean? Now, I should have checked, and I didn't, so I'm going to go back and have a quick look at my data. So if I just click OK here, have a look at this data, and you can see that width, these are decimal values. Thickness is a decimal value. Okay, so I want for thickness, width, and length, numeric length. So here we go. Thickness, width, and length. You see, that's a decimal value. So in my advanced, for width, I want double. That's good. Thickness, I want double. That's good. And length is double. You don't make these integers. Because if you do, it will chop off the decimal values. Okay, so be very careful with that. Next. So we've done that one, that one, and that one. Drying is text. Ready sold is Boolean. So let's go to that. Drying is text. Good. Ready and sold. It says long integer. I want these to be yes, no. Boolean, yes, no. And price is currency. And it says I can use any currency of my choice. So I'm just going to make that currency for now and click OK. Next. Um, I want to choose my own primary key because it's given me a primary key and it doesn't say that I can add another field as a primary key. It's already said that board ID is the primary key. Next. Now, do I want uh, the name, ta the, give the table a name? Well, that's good enough. March 2017 boards, finish. And it should create, there we go, I'm going to close that. It creates me my table here. That's good. So I'm going to open it. And now I'm going to go to my design view to double check things. So board is short text, text, number. This is a double. Okay. And if I have a look at it, you can see it's kept my decimal values for thickness, width, and length. So there, there. Dry. Yes, no. Now it says here that I'm allowed to use either yes, no, or checkbox. So I'm going to prefer, if I go to my format, I'm going to say yes, no instead of on off or true force and for my lookup I want text if I want to check box then I can choose the checkbox but I prefer text box okay and I'm going to do the same with this one that's the text box and in the general format well just to see why I'm doing this I want to say yes you can see this one that I changed it shows me yes and no Okay, but this one I haven't changed, so minus ones and zero. So I need to make that into a yes no format. So there we go, sold, format, yes no. And if I save and display now, there we go. Okay, so this is yes no and yes no. Okay, so I'm going to close that table. That one's finished. It's got my price field there with my currency. And if I go back to design view, if I click on this and look at my properties, remember, if the properties is not here, you right-click properties, there it's gone, right-click properties again, and you get your properties, okay? So you can see the different properties there. You've got your formatting, um, so you can choose a different style, for example, euro or pounds. I'm going to put it to euro, 
and then save. And that will display that in euros now. Okay, that one's finished. Let's do the next one. So the next one looks like this. Now, each one of these tables looks different, and it's a different way of setting up, which is why I'm going to do all three. It says, import the file m 2173 csv into your database as a new table with appropriate data types. Now, it's not telling me what the data types are, but it is saying that the tree ID field is a primary key. So I'm going to start, before I import this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to open the file uh, m 2017 Actually, I can just do it from importing it. Let's not open it. So I'm going to go from here, external data, new data source, from file, text file. I'm going to browse. I'm going to find the m 2017 trees. Now, you can see I've got this, this uh, other option here. That's because I now have a table in my database. Before, I had no table, so I didn't get this. And this is basically if I want to append or add data from a CSV file into an existing table. I don't. It's a new table, this one here. And now I'm going to look at the data. So it's delimited with comma, next. And here's my data. First row contains next. Now I'm going to look at the data. Look here. It says tree ID. This is clearly text. It's got text and numbers. Tree type. Again, this is text. Location code is text. The year milled. Now, this is just the number. I'm not going to make it a date field, okay? Because a date field would need the month and the day, or the day and the month. This is just the year. So I'm going to make this into a number integer field. I can also make it into a text field, but I'm going to leave it as a number field. What you don't want to do is make it a date field, okay? And then I'm going to go to next, uh, go to advanced, and now let's have a look here. Tree ID, short text, yes. Duplicates, okay, no. It's a primary key field. Look, it says that this is tree ID is the primary key field. Okay, so no duplicates. Tree type, short text. Location code, yes, duplicates, okay. You can leave that or you can put it to no. It doesn't make a difference. It's not really an indexed field. So unless it's the primary key, we can do that. Year milled, it's got a long integer, and that's fine. I'm going to leave that as an integer. Okay. Now, let me show you something here which I haven't shown you yet. This thing here, skip, you may get, uh, maybe asked to import the table, and that table has the fields, but it might tell you only import the fields, tree ID, location code, and year milled, not the tree type. So, those that, so you will tick this. And what would happen when it imports the data into the new table, this one will not be included. Okay, so they may give you a CSV which has 10 fields, but you only want to add six of them, then you will tick the ones that you don't want included, and they will not be imported into the table. Okay, that's what this skip is for. Okay, it hasn't told me to skip anything, so I'm going to go to OK, Next. Primary key is the tree ID, and then let me just make sure uh, the tree ID, correct? And then I click on next. That's the name tree to finish. Okay, so again, you need to be careful when you're importing. Let's do the last one. The last one says, now it specifically says, examine the file this and decide on appropriate data types. This means, again, I have to choose for each field. Then import this into your database as a new table with appropriate data types. Select the location code field as a primary key. So again, I'm going to examine this from, I can, if I want, simply click on here, the locations one, Open it in Excel, but you have to remember to close it. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to import. Or you can just analyze it from Access. So there's the data there. I'm going to double click to expand this. Now, I'm not going to save any of this. Otherwise, it might mess up when I'm importing. But I can see location code is text. This is text location. Description is text. First name text. Surname text. Email is text. And telephone we always use text. We're not going to use a number for a telephone. We only use numbers if we're ever going to use it in a calculation, really. 
So I'm going to use text for telephone numbers. And I'm going to click close on this and I'm not going to save. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my database and again, external data, new source data from file, text file, browse. I want the locations table. Again, it's going to be new table. Click OK. It's delimited with commas because it's a CSV file. Comma selected. First row contains field names. Just analyze. See, you can analyze the data from here as well before you actually add the fields. And I can see my email and my telephone number. So I'm going to go to advanced. Actually, let's go to next. And now I'm going to go to advanced. And I'm going to start changing things. For example, location code. It's a primary key. Duplicate looks okay. No. No duplicates. Short text, 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 text. Telephone has got long integer. I'm going to change that to text. Oh, where am I? Short text. Great blind. Okay, there we go. I'm going to click OK. Next. Choose a primary key. That's a location code. What do you think? Yep, location code field. Oh, no, oh, here we go. Location code field as the primary key, that one there. Okay, so going back, I'm going to click on Next. There's the name of the table and Finish. Okay, close. And if there's anything that you want to show evidence of, again, you can do that by going to this part here to show evidence of your data types, take screenshots of that. Now, the next step where we're creating relational uh, uh, database links to the tables is in the next video. So basically, uh, the rule is when you're importing, don't just click through next, 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 next. Have a look at each screen and make sure everything is correct. Be very careful because they might have things like duplicates okay for a primary key.